Hey there everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about galvanizing a widely used method for protecting metal from corrosion. I am Peter from Mexico, thanks to EPC Land for giving me an opportunity to share the knowledge on the subject. So, let's begin with the topic. First of all, let's try to understand the what is galvanization and why is it important in process industry. Galvanizing involves applying a thin coating of zinc to a thicker base metal, which helps shield it from the surrounding environment. The coating of zinc gives the metal anti-corrosion properties, which is especially important for objects that are exposed to the elements, such as street signs and lamp posts. Without the protective zinc coating, the metal would be exposed to water, moisture, and other elements in the air, potentially causing it to oxidize and corrode much faster. Galvanized steel is a cost-effective alternative to using materials such as austenitic stainless steel or aluminum in order to prevent corrosion. Now let's talk about how galvanizing actually works. Firstly, the zinc coating creates a protective layer that shields the metal from the surrounding environment. This prevents water, moisture, and other elements in the air from corroding the steel underneath. Galvanizing also works through a process called galvanic corrosion. This occurs when two metals of different electrochemical makeup are placed into contact with one another with an electrolyte present, such as salty water. Depending on the atomic structure of the two metals, one metal becomes the anode and the other the cathode. The anode corrodes more rapidly than it would by itself, and the cathode corrodes at a slower pace than it would by itself. Zinc is used for galvanizing because it has an affinity towards being the anode when in contact with many different types of metals. Since the zinc coating in contact with the base metal is usually the anode, it slows the corrosion of the base metal or the cathode. So, we just talked about the basics of galvanization and its importance. I have a question for you all. Have you ever wondered how metal objects, such as fences or street lights, are protected from rust and corrosion? Well, now in this video, we'll be exploring the different methods of galvanizing. Look at the table. Three important types are hot dip galvanizing, pre galvanizing, electro galvanizing. Let's talk about these three types one by one, along with various pros and cons. The first method we'll discuss is called hot dip galvanizing. As the name implies, this involves dipping the base metal into a pool of molten zinc. Before this can happen, the base metal must be cleaned to ensure a strong bond can be formed between the metal and the zinc coating. This can be done mechanically chemically, or both. Then, the metal is fluxed to remove any remaining oxides. Once the metal is cleaned and fluxed, it's ready to be dipped into the zinc bath. This process is quick, economical, and can be performed on complex shapes. However, the final coating can be inconsistent relative to other galvanizing methods. The next method is pre-galvanizing. This method is very similar to hot dip galvanizing, but it's performed at the steel mill and usually on materials that already have a specific shape. The metal sheet is cleaned and then passed through a pool of hot, liquid zinc before being recoiled. This method is advantageous because large coils of steel sheet can be rapidly galvanized with a more uniform coating compared to hot dip galvanizing. However, a disadvantage is that once the pre-galvanized metal is fabricated, exposed, uncoated areas will become present. When a long coil of sheet is cut into smaller sizes, the edges where the metal is cut are left exposed. The final method we'll explore is electro-galvanizing. This method does not use a molten bath of zinc. Instead, an electrical current is used in an electrolyte solution to transfer zinc ions onto the base metal. The positively charged zinc ions are electrically reduced to zinc metal, which are then deposited onto the positively charged material. Grain refiners can also be added to ensure a smooth zinc coating on the steel. Like pre-galvanizing, electro-galvanizing is typically applied continuously to a roll of sheet metal. The advantages of this method are a uniform coating and precise coating thickness. However, the coating is typically thinner than the coating of zinc achieved by the hot dip galvanizing method, which can result in reduced corrosion protection. So there you have it. Those are the different methods of galvanizing. Whether it's hot dip galvanizing, 
pre-galvanizing, or electro-galvanizing, each method has its advantages and disadvantages. We hope you found this video informative and enjoyable. Thanks for watching.